Hello, in this video, I'm going to go over um, Booleans. So Booleans are a way to take one shape and use it to add to another shape or cut away um, or have some intersection kind of thing going on. Um, if you hit control and drag over the live Boolean button over here, um, you can see there is a tooltip of um, what it is and everything. Um, but what we'll need is to create a cavity right here. Um, I'm going to create a, I'm going to append and I'm going to add a sphere. And I am going to go over and move it. And the cool thing about Booleans um, is that they're non destructive until you, until you start baking it down. And um, that way you can concept things out if you want. Um, they're really nice for hard surface detailing kind of things. So that's probably fine for now. And then do something like this. It's a little more shallower. Okay. So say that's good. And um, the way that you have to set it up is. Um, there is a bug, so if you're using image planes, make sure that your model opacity is at 100, otherwise your model will disappear. Um, and then you have to go over here and click on this, and that will remove whatever is on top. This, this shape will be removed from this piece over here. So then I should be able to select that and hit Live Boolean, and there we go. And you'll see, it looks a little weird. Um, I can select this and I can even move it if I want and cut away. Um, I can even sculpt on this piece still and just figure out what is going on there, shape it a bit. Um, that kind of thing. And it looks like it's cutting through there too much, so I need to fix that. So I'm going to do. I just might move it down. Might be the easiest fix or scale down. There we go. And that looks pretty good. And then let's go over and let start sculpting this in a bit, pushing that in a bit. There we go. Maybe that's too much and I I always forget to put my mirror on don't be like me always put X I wonder if there's a setting to always leave that on probably is um, there we go so that's fine let me that and it cut away so now I can go over and um, bake this down now that I have a cavity in here. Um, and then you can even use this when, if you go look at the front, oh, does not like the image planes when I'm using this. So let me, there's like cavities in the eye and then in the nose. You could probably use that for that too. And I'll see, I might, I might or might not use that for the finishing it, but, um, so let's combine these things. So I want to probably take off Dynamesh and make sure there's no Dynamesh on either of these. Um, and then I'm going to go over to Boolean. And then I can go over and say make Boolean dash the DS, this thing, allows dynamic subdiv. What this does is it creates a display smooth, not a baked down smooth of your mesh. It's kind of like three in Maya. So if you go down to geometry <clears throat> and where is that dynamics subdiv? If you click on this, you'll see that it gives everything a bit smoother, nicer looking. Um, that might be nice to have. Um, you can have that on if you want. 
So I might turn that on both. And then, then I can go up to Subtool and to say, click on that and that will integrate that stuff, the dynamic subdiv to this. So I'm gonna hit Make Boolean Mesh and you'll see up here it's doing stuff. I'll pause while it's doing it. Okay, it said it finished. So then you'll see that it will create a new file. So, um, so UMesh, that's what it will create, UMesh. So I wanna keep all my views and everything. So. I'm going to append that U mesh to my scene. And then I'm just going to probably delete my original because I don't really need that. And the that piece. So now I have this piece that is nice cut out on the bottom. So just be aware that the the subdiv thing probably made your mesh really dense. So what you can do is zero mesh it or dynamesh it. So I might dynamesh it. Get it back to being a little bit less. Yeah, so that's fine. Now it's easier to smooth things out and work. Start shaping and looking at my image planes. So let's look at our Yes, I'll make another video just sculpting, but yeah, we're getting there. See you in the next one.